Hi, it's Keisha here, the Habits Hypnotist, and I wanted to come on today very quickly to talk about hypnosis and why it is actually not scary, but completely natural. So a lot of times when I tell people what I do, um, there is a lot, there are a lot of questions really about how safe is hypnosis. You know, they've had heard tales of people getting stuck in hypnosis, of someone being hypnotized to do something they didn't want, or even just simply going to a magic show and watching the hypnotist show, you know? And that often fills people with a lot of anxiety, especially people who are not really, who don't really feel comfortable um, kind of making people laugh or entertaining people, you know, at their expense. So it's something that makes people very anxious and very uncomfortable. And I wanted to, number one, just come on really quickly and really get to why, to the point of why hypnosis is actually very natural and quite safe. So the first thing I want you to know is that you use hypnotic states all the time, every day. You've used it today and you're probably going to use it shortly within a matter of maybe minutes or hours, depending on, depending on when you're watching this video. So what do I mean by that? So what, what we use typically when we're talking and we're fully awake is a level of consciousness that is called beta. So right now you're fully awake, you're fully aware, you're thinking, you're reasoning. Um, you might be doing some work, doing whatever you're, whatever you're doing. Usually that is done at beta, which is a very awake, level of consciousness. Beneath that, we have what's called alpha, which is a lowered and more relaxed state. So this is where you're not entirely awake, not entirely aware. And even below that is an even deeper relaxation called theta, which is not fully, fully unconscious, but pretty much there. You experience these two states, alpha and theta, all the time. Every day when you are waking up, you are rising fully out of the sleep state, which is delta, all the way up through theta, when you're kind of awake, but not really, through alpha, which is more awake, but still kind of groggy until you finally hit beta, okay? So it's something that you actually experience every day, which is simply a more relaxed state of consciousness. In addition to going in and out of sleep, you also experience it as well whenever you're feeling very relaxed on a, a car ride. If you've ever been a passenger in a car and you just kind of were lulled to, to relaxation or on a rainy day sitting next to a window and just listening to the amazing sounds of rain, one of my favorite things ever. And, um, or if you're on a plane or a train or a bus, similar thing. Okay, this happens all the time. It's completely natural and it's simply a lowered state of consciousness. And that's all that we use in, in hypnosis. Now, why do we use this? So we tap into these states because in this state, we can easily get to your subconscious programming. So whenever you're fully awake at beta, you have a million thoughts going all the time. And those thoughts are often kind of covering up the true programming that's running beneath you. So if for whatever reason you are struggling with addictive behaviors, with unwanted habits, or when you're trying to start a habit and you're having a hard time making it stick, like getting up early or exercising or eating healthy, then what needs to happen is we need to access kind of what's going on deeper down. And the best way to do that is to actually give you suggestions during a lower state of consciousness, during these lower states called alpha and theta. And so we use these states in order to get the, the thoughts that happen when you're fully awake, quieted down and out the way. And it's so much easier than trying to force yourself or trying to will yourself to, to change, which as you probably realize is a lot, lot harder. It's a lot easier to be able to make it a gentle and very relaxing change for you. So a couple other things about hypnosis and why it's safe and natural is we cannot control you through hypnosis. Hypnosis is not mind control. It is controlling your own mind using your own words, okay? But it is not. there's no way that I can control you using hypnosis. Unfortunately, we're still working on that, or, or fortunately rather, the, the government has not figured out a way to actually control a person's mind. There are 
lots of shady programs like go that have gone on in the past or where they've tried and it, everything's been a fail. No one has been able to figure that out. Your thoughts controlling your body completely safe. It's impossible to do that. What all hypnosis does is simply, again, feedback what you want and help you to make better choices and better actions. You also can't get stuck in hypnosis as well. I know that's a very common thing. Um, and people often cite movies like Office Space. There's actually a movie coming up very shortly that I am excited to see. I believe it's called Hypnotic coming out on Netflix probably next week that um, also deals with hypnosis gone wrong and hypnosis causing all sorts of scary things in popping up. That is fantasy. That is not reality. That is simply, hypnosis is a, it's a fun thing to fantasize about, to play with when it comes to movies and whatnot. That's not real. That's not reality. Okay, so it's really important to, to understand that hypnosis is safe. Hypnosis is simply a way for you to better do what you want to do. I cannot control you through hypnosis. No one can control you through hypnosis. You also cannot get stuck in hypnosis. Hypnosis is um, just like we said, it is simply the natural states that you experience um, and changes of level levels of consciousness. You go throughout this up and down every day. We're simply using that. If I were giving you hypnotic suggestions uh, and you were in the hypnotic state and I just killed over, you know, like I guess like in the movie Office Space or something, you got caught in it, caught, nothing would happen. You simply would either doze off and wake up, continue your life, or you would just stop wondering why I'm, I stopped talking and wake up and continue your life. There's no such thing as getting stuck in it because there's nothing to get stuck in. It's simply you at a more relaxed state. So I really wanted to come on and just kind of talk about that and just uh, explain why it's completely natural. And it is a very, very effective way to change your habits and change your behaviors. I definitely recommend it. Um, if you would like more information on hypnosis and how it can help you to change your habits, to over to turn over addictive behaviors that you don't want, to start a new behavior, such as um, quitting smoking, quitting drinking, um, stopping with um, unhealthy eating and eating habits, or to start exercising, or anything else that you want to start as well, definitely make sure you either reach out to me. You can email me, Keisha at newworldtarot.org. Check out the website. Make sure you're signed up for our newsletter, which is www.newworldcoaching.org. Okay, and also check out the videos on YouTube as well. You can find me at New World Mind and Spirit and also on Instagram at New World Mind and Spirit, all one word. Okay, so I want to thank you so much today for uh, checking out this video. Please reach out to me if you have any questions on hypnosis or and how it can help you. And I would be so honored to help you figure out how this can work for you and definitely inf and answer any of your, your questions or, or take away any, any of the concerns you may have. Okay, so thank you so much. Be well and remember to change your life. You must first change yourself. Take care, be blessed, and be safe, and see you next time.